AVC as it going. Right, okay, a very quick video. I just wanna show a handful of 45s that I picked up over the last few weeks. It's all soul and reggae, so yeah, see what you think, right? So first up, this is something I picked up from an eBay seller. Uh, this is a track by Florence Ballard called Love Ain't Love. Now, Florence Ballard obviously um, was orig an original member of the Supremes, but she was kicked out of the group, I think about 1967. Now, a lot of people say that Florence Ballard had the best voice uh, uh, of the Supremes, certainly better than Diana Ross, but I, I do like Diana Ross's voice. I said before, it's that just lovely pop soul sound. I mean, Florence Ballard certainly had a much bigger voice. And, you know, she, she perhaps should have been the, uh, the lead singer, I don't know. She certainly thought that. But um, when she left the band, she went out and uh, recorded two singles for ABC Records. This is my favourite of those two. I say the track Love Ain't Love, written by Van McCoy. Obviously, he was a great um, producer and songwriter. He went on to record uh, and release tracks under his own name. Stuff like The Hustle, great disco tunes. But this is just classic soul. I mean, when you hear this, you, mean, you can't understand why it wasn't a massive hit. It's so catchy. I say a great vocal. I say I don't need a drop on it, so what you think. Okay, so a couple of weeks ago, um, a local shop, a local record shop, got about 3,000 records in, and the owner um, asked me just to pop in and just have a look to see if there's anything of interest in there. Yeah, it was really good, good fun, and very kindly gave me a handful of records for my troubles, of which this was one. I mean, not an expensive record, but something you don't see every day. This is Pig Beat Markham with the trap Pig's Popcorn. Try saying that fast. Um, yeah, so Pig Meat Markham was a bit of an all-round entertainer. You know, uh, did a lot of comedy, uh, a bit of singing. And to be honest, this track isn't about the vocal at all. It's all about the music. A brilliant drum sound, just a big, fat drum sound. Yeah, see what you think. But I think this is, uh, yeah, this is a cracking mid-60s tune. <laughs> Okay, I'll show a bit of reggae now. Right, so this is uh, Stranger Cole with If We Should Ever Meet on the Unity label. I think I paid about a fiver for this. It's a little bit rough, but a great tune. I mean, when I hear this, I mean, this is the sort of sound that got me into reggae, that classic rock steady sound. Um, I mean, just listen to this. The whole thing is, is sung in harmony and it's just gorgeous. You've got this uh, horn line that, that keeps coming back into the tune. Yeah, an absolutely perfect example of Rocksteady. Um, the other track, Bangarang, is also a really nice tune as well. So, um, yeah, that's uh, Lester Sterling and Stranger Cold. But this, for me, is, is the main tune on it. But, yeah, see what you think. <laughs> Don't act as if we were not friends. I need your love. You know it's true. 
quite okay. Now, this is something I picked up a few days ago. Now, this is on the Hickory label. Now, Hickory was a label that was, was founded by Roy Acuff, the country singer. And I must admit, when I saw it, I thought this would be a country tune. It's by Barbara Mills. The track's called Queen of Fools. Uh, it's not country, it's straight Northern Soul. I mean, it's not an expensive record. This is actually a boot. It's a, it's a bootleg, it's an unofficial copy. Um, but still, sounds great, and it is just classic Northern Soul. Um, there's some nice clips on on um, YouTube, actually, of people dancing to this, doing that sort of, you know, that classic Northern Soul dance. But, um, yeah, lovely stuff. And again, I'll do a, a clip on that. <laughs> single on Checker Records, uh, Little Milton and his version of Many Rivers to Cross. Obviously the Jimmy Cliff tune. Now the original is, is just a stone cold classic, but this is a really nice version. There's been lots of covers of it over the years. I think I probably first heard the UB40 version from the early eighties, but Harry Nilsson did a nice version of it as well. But this is gorgeous, yeah, it's, um, it's a blues version. He also recorded for Stax, I think in the early seventies. Um, I'd say I don't have anything of his on Checker, but uh, I do have a few of his stack singles. But um, yeah, great voice, great guitarist too. So I'll do a needle drop on that and see what you think. Cheers. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. 